Hey quilters, it's Heather from Wilmington Prints. The quilt project that I have for you this month is our Any Way You Stripe It quilt. It is a pretty easy to make quilt and it can look really different depending on how you rotate the block. We have three different layouts. This one right here is our diamonds quilt. We also have a chevrons quilt and a braids layout. For this quilt, what you'll need is one of two of our Wilmington Jewels packs. They are 24 count, two and a half inch strip packs. This one that we made here is in sandbar. You can also use any of our new strip packs which delivers this month. So if you want to check them out, you can also see them on our website. As always, when you're picking up your supplies, you can pick up your instructions as well. When you get, if your quilt store doesn't happen to have any of these instructions, you can go ahead and check out our website, www.wilmingtonprints.com and download and print the instructions there. All of our projects on our website are free. Now that you've got everything together, you're going to split up your packs into three piles. The first pile will be the six darkest strips. You could alternately use the six lightest strips or another set of strips that stand out from the rest of the fabrics. These will be used in the border surrounding the block, so you're going to go ahead and set them aside. The next two piles will be the 20 lightest strips and the 20 medium or dark strips that are left over from the pack. Now that you've got them split up, you're ready to start sewing. There are two different sets of piece strips, a dark and a light. For the dark, you're going to randomly grab, grab three darks and two lights and sew them together lengthwise using quarter inch seam allowance. And that will end up looking like this, with three darks and two lights. For the light piece strips, you're going to do the opposite. So there will be three lights and two darks. For each of these sets, you're going to have four. So you're going to have four light sets and four dark sets. Once you're done sewing, you're going to press them, and then we're going to cut them. Once your strips are all pieced, you're going to cut them. From each piece strip, you're going to cut three 10 and a half inch squares and three three inch wide strips. My squares ended up being 10 and a quarter inch squares, but it doesn't really matter as long as they're square. These squares will end up being the piecing in the center of the quilt, and the three inch pieces are going to end up making up the outer border. You'll alternate dark and light strip pieces and you'll get that nice striped border on the outside. You're gonna cut your squares one more time in half diagonally. You will have to alternate which direction you have to cut the squares and there are two different ways to cut it depending on which layout you want. For the layout of this quilt, the diamond quilt layout, you'll have to cut the dark squares in the opposite di direction from the light squares. You're going to cut them in that direction, and then your light squares will be cut in the opposite direction, like that. Next, you're going to sew one light half square triangle to one dark half square triangle and make making a total of 24 blocks. So you'll sew those two together, and you'll end up with a block that looks like this. And that's it, that's the block. You'll arrange the blocks according to the quilt diagram, add the borders, and that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more free projects.